Today we're going to replace this old, rusty, bent, and ugly radiator cover. First thing that we're going to have to do is determine what size it is. And as you can see, it's about eight and a half inches high. That would mean that it's a standard height. The difference between the standard height and the tall height is about two inches. So once we've determined that we have a standard height, now we want to determine what the end caps are going to be. This is going to be a closed cap because there's no pipe running through the side. So our left cap will be a closed end cap. Now the right end cap over here has a pipe coming through the side. And with the pipe coming through the side, we will need an open end cap on this side. So the next thing we're going to determine is the length. Take my tape, I'm going to run it against the pipe, and then bring it out, and I have about 66 inches. We're going to go ahead and uh, remove the this end cap. Sometimes you can just pop them off, and sometimes you have to drill them. So we're going to try and pop these off. Got that off. The front plate comes on pretty easy. And once you get the rivets out, it's relatively easy to just slide this out. And remove it. Next, we're going to remove the damper. That's relatively easy. Just unhook it from its little joint and you're done. Now that we've got the fin tube vacuumed, we're ready for the installation. We'll cut the baseboard heater covers to fit, but sometimes you may want to do it on the job. I'm going to show you how to do that now. First, we want to cut it at 66 inches. Okay, that's what we determined our length is here. So we're at 66 inches right now. So I'm going to mark it with the Sharpie. That's where we're going to cut. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the back side here. You may want to file this if it happens to be very rough, but this is a, did a nice job, so it's not going to be necessary. So the next thing is we're going to fit this to the wall and see how that works. Sometimes you, you can't play nice with these things. There you go. Looks like it fit down pretty well. Now that we've got our cover cut, and we've determined which ends we need. We're going to dry fit the cover. So now we're going to try and fit it. If it fits perfect, we're done. Looks pretty good. That's it. That's done. That's all there is to it. Uh, this one took a little bit more work just because it had rivets in it, but the average one just pops off and pops a new one on.